Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Jabre. I'm a neurologist and I specialize in EMG. EMG stands for electromyography, which loosely translated means electrical testing of nerves and muscles. The nerve is like an electrical wire. So basically, the way we test it is the same way an electrician tests an electrical wire. We run electricity through it. When the electricity goes through the nerve, we can see if it's getting stuck somewhere, if it's slowed, if it's not working at all, and so forth and so on. And basically, we can determine where it's stuck or where it's slowed, how badly it is, and so forth and so on. Now, when we stimulate the nerve, we can record either from the nerve directly or from the muscle that's innervated by the nerve. Why is that? Because the nerve contains, most nerves contain both sensory and motor fibers. Needless to say, the sensory fibers are the ones that bring the sensation from the fingers or the skin or the leg back to the brain. The motor fibers are bringing the brain signal down to the muscle to move it. So whenever you're stimulating a nerve, most of the time you're stimulating both nerves that are sensories and nerves that are motors. It really depends on where you are recording from. So for instance, if we are recording from the finger, and we're stimulating the median nerve here, but recording from the finger, we're recording from the sensory fibers. If we stimulate the nerve and we record from the muscle, we're recording from the motor fibers. So it really doesn't matter where you stimulate. Actually, it does. But what matters most is where you record from, because that's what is going to determine if you're studying sensory or motor fibers. Now, what are EMGs useful for? EMGs are useful for a lot of conditions and a variety of problems that affect the nervous system. The ones that you've probably heard uh, most about is carpal tunnel. A lot of people have carpal tunnel with hand numbness and tingling and sometimes weakness. Patients with low back pain. Patients with diabetes who get diabetic neuropathy. For all of these conditions and others like trauma and injury and neck pain, a lot of physicians order nerve conduction studies and EMG testing because they want to see if the nerve is impaired, is damaged, how bad, and where it is impaired.